Howdy, howdy, everybody out there in YouTube land. So, yeah, you caught us in the mix. We're looking through my little one's magic box here. We're going to have to get her some new stuff pretty soon. But we're going to go through those. But I do want to talk about my giveaway that I have currently live on the channel. It is a brick of playing cards. You're going to get six Kickstarters from Kickstart. I got Kickstarters unopened. Five of them are unopened. One of them has been opened for a review. And then you're going to get six bicycle brand cards, two red back, two blue back, and two emoji deck. So you're going to get a full brick. It's right here. All you got to do is go to my my announcement video and type in dollar sign eight dot forty two. That's eight dollars and forty two cents. So all you got to do is type that into that last video. We need at least 12 participants in order to give it away. And that is only the <clears throat> beginning of a bigger giveaway that we're going to be doing in November. So we can't really move forward with that until we get enough participants for the brick giveaway. 12 decks of playing cards. So go ahead and go check that out. Now let's take it away with some magic. What do you have here? So I got these. And what are they called? Change bags. Change bags change bag. So we're not trying to expose magic here, but we're going to go through the items that she has. She wants to show them off to you. Now, these change bags, we got them from a location that they're more they're novelty toys and so they kind of fell apart. So I do want to try to find her one from a more professional vendor. So she's got two of them and neither of them work very well. They both broke. Oh no! Drop my baking wand. I'm just in the background just practicing my wand twirls. you got to practice where you can. So she's she's taking away the video, and I am practicing my wand trick. Um, I guess I'm going to hold stuff. <laughs> I'm going to put that over here. You can just set them on the table when you get those out. I know those are a little bit bigger. Put the top down. Top can go underneath the box. Okay, we're going to put it down there. You're in charge. I'm just, I'm just here. <laughs> so this is a like kind of a magic silk. So I mean, you can perform it if you want. I mean, I, I would be careful so you don't give it away. So it's so right now we have green and yellow. If you take this and and it blue and red. So in the magic world, so what we try not to do is we try not to narrate what it is that we're doing. So if we start fresh from here, you just hold them up and say, hey, look, I have a blue and red scarf. But if you just take a little bit of a magic gesture, you can actually change them to yellow and green. Ha-cha! So you just... Try to give a little bit of a flare and a spin to it. So I have this silk. <laughs> <laughs> we have another one in the studio as well. She's over there drinking her little sippy cup. <laughs> so she's just hanging out. Yeah. I think the last time that she was like actually on camera, on ca I, I had a video of her as a baby and I was doing some magic. So now she's she's a little toddler now. So What do you got here? This is just a, uh, a silk? At all. At our old house, we, we had her as a toddler, but a look, not only just one, and my dad was holding it, the magician. Yeah. What do you have here? You got a sil red silk? Yeah, red silk. Yeah. So I see this. Well, like I said, you don't. we don't need to perform everything. We're just showing them. So this is a, a Tengu, uh, what is it? Ten ten Tenkai? Tango. It's, it's a Tango present. <laughs> um, anyway, like that's a that's actually a uh, ball through plastic cube mystery, uh, similar to the. I believe it's um. It's been a little bit since I I have I have them. Tango, Tendu, <laughs> something. Ten, uh, tango present. Okay, so she's got there. You can set that aside. So that just comes with the ball with the silk, so you can set those over there. Yeah, I just used it. So that's a nice little presentation piece. Yeah, it's like a puzzle toy. It's you not, can set it right here. It's not supposed to go together, but I do it together. Uh, well, that trick did come with a, a silk, though. Yeah. 
<clears throat> okay, what else you got? So I have these ropes. A little bit of rope magic. Do you know any rope magic? No. No? You want to learn one? Well, I can... I know one of them. You got two of them there? I can show you one. I'll do them. They just get stuck together onto here. See what I mean? Yeah, right, let me see it. I got two of them here. So you got you got one and I got one. So a little bit of rope magic. If you guys want to watch at home, here, take a step back. Uh, so basically what we want to do is we hold it between our index finger and our middle finger. Like we're clipping it. Perfect. Now, you're going to take the loop with these two fingers and you're going to pull it towards you as you come across. And, and clip it with your thumb. So for right there, but you want to loop. So right there, perfect. Clip that, but you want to leave that open. So that way, you're going to reach underneath, as you have this loop situation, to grab the other side while tucking your middle finger into that as you pull it tight into a loop situation. Now I have presumably put a knot into the rope, but if I eat it, hum, 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 hum. It's gone. <laughs> yep. What? That's some rope magic for you. So, did you catch that? There's this one's the tinier one. That one's the bigger. Did you catch that, though? Yeah. But so I loop didn't... it over, pull I it didn't... down, have a knot on there, and then you can just make it vanish by blowing, and it disappears by magic. So, there you go. little rope magic for you. Enjoy that. I have two of them. One is small and one is the middle. Right. Okay, let's set it over to the side. She does have some really interesting pieces in here that I think are some pretty stellar magic. Right here, this is the classic coloring book. This is good stuff. You go to the bottom. Well, we don't need to, <laughs> we don't need to perform everything, but if you want to. So, coloring book. This is a magic coloring book. I picked it up. It's a fun magic coloring book. I picked it up over at the uh, the um, the gift shop the other day. And, uh, yeah, let's take a look at it here. So, as you can see, all the pictures here, that's nice, right? But if you turn it over, you'll notice that the other side doesn't have any pictures whatsoever. But all you got to do is you got to take some of this color that she's got going on here and just imagine that it goes into the book. And then we're going to take her thumb, and she's just going to riffle through the pages. Oh, through. What? What are you doing? Oh, hold on. There we go. Now there's the color. <laughs> so that's a beautiful coloring. Coloring book is always classic for performance. It's nice. She's got her sponge hearts. This is probably one of my favorites. I wish I had a set. I've got pretty much everything else. I got. I got sponge balls. I've got the. I don't have a large sponge ball. Uh, I have different sizes of them, but I don't have the one you can stuff. I, I got, have a sponge ball. I got the bunnies, and then I have the uh, the feet, which is right here. These Big are funny. foot. Bigfoot. Yeah. So I do plan on putting together a presentation with that. I also have the Bigfoot coins from Copeland Coins. So I do plan on putting together a routine with those. But these these are going to stay over here for right now. She's got the heart. Show them the hearts real quick. Well, that big one came to it only one. Yeah. Hi, Barney. So this is a heart. That's and good. It has no, four. Okay, I love you. Four. <laughs> four yeah. hearts. What do we got going on? Are you going to perform a sponge ball trick for him? Yeah. Just me. I have five of them. I have five little sponge ball cards. I actually have four. <laughs> I have four um, sponge ball hearts. And so oh, yeah? you take the big one. Yeah. And then you. <laughs> we got. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's, she's going for it. I have a big sponge ball heart and four little ones. So. So I'm going to take 
the big one and take one of the small ones and I take my um this the tiny heart and I hold the big one and I don't know. Well, you're performing it. I'm just watching. <laughs> and I take it and I push it again to the back of the heart and it's gone. <laughs> oh, that's good. You need, we've got, we'll do some practice here. But here's a good way to do that if you're going to do some sponge ball magic here. Um, simply start with one sponge ball, and it can be really anything that can fit into the palm of your hand that you can close your hand pretty nicely on and keep it nice and loose. Because there's no reason to like squeeze it into a fist or anything like that unless that's what you're projecting. So just very loosely take some napkin or whatever if you have a sponge ball or a piece of old sponge, and just kind of play around with the idea of placing it into the hand. That's really what we're trying to do, right? I know what you can make. Oh yeah, what's that? So it takes like some real, um, real scrubbing sponge and yeah. keep it dry, and then you cut it into, um, a shape you want it. Right, that'd be work, and that works as misdirection because the sponge is actually gone. The sponge heart's gone, but we do have one here. We have another one down here. <laughs> but you know what I like about these little hearts is they're perfect. This is a perfect reminder to like the video. If you love it, you love it. Go ahead and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. It's real nice. It's real fun. But if we take this heart and we place it into the hand and close the fingers, now you have to really try to figure out when the heart jumped over to this hand. That's really what you got to figure out. But keep in mind that when you've got the hearts, right, it's best to share your love and to give it out. And there you have it. So there's a beautiful little sponge trick you can do. Obviously, I threw in uh, the next phase for you with two. And you can keep going. You can keep building. But one simple little thing that you can practice and have fun with it all day long. Next, we have what? What is this? This is um, a flower of magic wand um, magic trick. So you take that. the wand and put it down in the Love middle you. of this, and then you pull it, and then, ooh, a flower. Flower. That's a beautiful trick. I love it. Um, I do want to do some rose work. I really I like the idea of production of roses. <coughs> there is a nice little That's trick that you can get flower. online, which is a... Uh, a rose that has a flame in it. I like that one a little bit. It's more of a stage act where you're not going to be handling anything out, probably. But this is just a nice little thing. And you've got the wand to go with it. So you can just kind of play around with that. What? I just got to show uh, this one little bit. It looks pretty. Oh, she got a pretty pencil in there, too. Yeah, but not magic. So this is a stellar piece. I think you can do well with, with the wand and the the appearing rose. Yeah, there's a nice aesthetic quality to it that I enjoy. And if you do it right, it, it can it can sell pretty good. Um, it, it's clearly a fake rose, but that's it's magic. You know, you've made a rose of it. You gotta believe magic. You know, you gotta have fun with it. Mama, so I have these like I have these um like I have these um silk of little squares. We lost most of them. Um, we lost the yellow one because, um, so this one I will kind of talk about a little bit here just for the sake of the, the trick. It's a beautiful trick and so initially if these are the, the right ones here, they're a little frayed from uh, sewing them together and taking them back apart. Not really. They're just old. But again, so the idea is, is that you have this one hidden away and that you take these three plus the yellow one and you're basically just going to stuff them into the hand 
And then when you open your hand, they're all going to be stitched together. So that's the idea behind this trick. It is a beautiful trick. You can pull this off really well, especially if you have another secret magician tool. And I have these from thing. So you take, so you put it on your finger. Your You're getting the in-depth real stuff right here. This right here is a money maker. You see people online all the time using this prop and doing it very well and very successfully. So keep in mind, if you're watching the video right now, you're getting some behind the scenes, even from this little kit. <coughs> this is called a thumb tip. And this is it. This is magic right here. You can do 101 different magic tricks just with this little thumb tip and you can and you can be successful just with this because it works with so many things. What are you gonna do for, what are you gonna do for us, Scott? Gonna, gonna do some magic for you. I got this stuff from and so I probably wouldn't lead with the I have a thumb. People know you have a thumb, right? Yeah. So I have the this on my finger. You probably wouldn't tell them that. <laughs> so, this is my thumb. Yeah. <laughs> what? Show what now? I just showed Here, up. it's something like this, right? You simply show the hand is empty. You can show both hands are empty. But then when you snap your fingers, you can make your favorite color silk appear right from your hand. Just like so. There you have it. <laughs> and of course, when you're ready, you can simply make the silk return to your imagination. Like it was never even there in the first place. Pulled my thumb off. She pulled her thumb off. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and when I pull, <coughs> I pull the thumb off. My thumb, and a silk appeared. A silk appeared. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> Some beautiful magic going on there. Okay, let's go ahead and get through the rest of these items and see what else what else we can do for you today. You're gonna, you gotta practice some of these items. You gotta pick one or two of them and just, you know, spend spend a little bit of time with them. Uh, I need to be able to help you with this. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with those. Oh, the, yeah, I think that's. So th that this being stuck on there, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this back in here. I tried. Yeah, it looks like you're missing a piece. Oh, there. Yep, I can't. Yeah. I, I try to repair it, but I can't. We'll, we'll work on it. 
Daddy, where's the piece <coughs> to the coin? The what? Okay. Dad! Dad! Yeah. Dad! 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 Oh, you're gonna show us some coin magic? Yeah, but, um, there's a little, like... Mama means Dad! Dad! Here, let's learn a piece of some coin magic. You want to hand me one of those? You okay. gave me these da -da. because they would fit into so, other little magic. So you pick this one? Laura Lili. Can I pick this So we're going to learn some coin da -da. magic, okay? We're, we're learning stuff today. Tutorials and everything. You get to see all of this. So da -da. this is called the French drop. It's a very classic, very basic move that you're going to want to have in your arsenal. And you can do this with any object that is round like this. You can even practice with a little washer or something that'll fit into your hand. And the objective is, is that uh, it's shiny, right? Daddy, what about all the other magic that makes me do? All the rings? Yes. Yeah. So you want to catch the light when it's shiny, right? If you got a coin or something. And a nice way to do that is just practice the flourish because you want it to make it look good. You're showing both sides. If it's a real coin, these are just like little plastic circles. So you want to show both sides, and then you're going to come in with your hand, and you're going to take that coin, and you simply make it disappear. Oh. I can't make it disappear. You can't make it disappear? Mama, Dad! Then you're going to have to bring it back. And you know how you bring it back? You just kind of grab up the ether Dad! that's there, no. and then Dad. you simply drop it into the hand and make it reappear. So, let's learn it. So, you hold it between your middle finger and your thumb for the flourish, using your index to spin it up here. So that way you can come into a, a natural resting state as you turn over your hand. Then you're going to come behind it with your thumb. And this is just a quick explanation. Behind it with your thumb, and as your fingers come over, you're going to release your thumb. That's all you're doing. Simply release your thumb going to topple into the hand, but you're going to pretend like it's here. Okay? And since this is where it's at, this is where the convincer is, because they can't see it here still in your hand, they believe it's here. So here we go. Boom. Boom. Now you're turning your whole body because here it is. It's here. So what am I going to do next? Well, it's pretty simple. Remember I got to simply blow. Right? And then when you want to bring it back, what do you do? Da, da. Oh, I think you blew too hard. It's da, gone. Da. <laughs> and uh, what I did there is I simply put it on the table, which you can see right here, which is fine. I mean, if you're looking at the little picture up here and you're looking down here, because I want to show you the natural progression of this trick is pretty simple. And that is that you want the coin to be gone. So you want to put it into your pocket or wherever in such a way that now the trick is complete and the coin is vanished. Because making it disappear and reappear, that's good. But to make it just disappear completely, that's great. And that starts with the French drop and it ends with magic. It's beautiful. Here's your nice little coin. She does have a couple of other objects to talk about, and let's see what you got. So I have these two little dices. So I take one of the dice. She don't really have any tricks with the dice, but she's got too many dice in there. So I take this, this one dice and put it into my hand, and then I close it up, and then I... Here's one that I like. It's such a small die, you can't really even see it in my hand. But if you put it right in here, we can make it disappear by dropping it into the other hand. Of course, we've just retained it into this hand. You're learning everything today. You're learning so much beautiful stuff. <laughs> and if you want to learn more of these things, check us out on the I do on have my, a... my tutorial videos. We got so much stuff. 
I do Don't have forget a... the giveaway. The giveaway is good. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. I do have a special one. It's my favorite that show you. But... Oh, yep. She has the, uh, the ring and chain trick where you drop the ring and it links with the chain. She does enjoy that one. Um, let's see. In here. Um, here's the package for it, but we don't have the ring. And you got the coins. You've done die. You've done this. So you just got these two, these two rings. <coughs> what are these? She got the extra sponge ball, little mini one I gave her. Boop. And then she got the top. So she's so happy. So I'm going to take the top. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You playing with some cards? Yeah, I did. Those are first playing cards. Chris Ramsey. Club. <laughs> yep. Those are tortoise backs V2s of the slow hand from Kier Gomes. Those are some of the best playing cards ever produced right there. Look at it. It's Club. <laughs> oh, there you go. You put it on there. I can't really. <laughs> I see you over there. I can't really do that because I don't have the ring. Sometimes it works. But I need the ring. We're getting ring. crazy here. We're getting crazy. I see you. I see you. I see you. <laughs> You're okay. Not right now. Okay. I think we're going to wrap this up. We've, you've seen all of her magic, and hopefully she gets more magic, especially with Christmas coming up. You're, you're forgiven. <laughs> so, this is one of my specialist magic, and so... Let's pack everything up here. we got to put everything away. If I had my real ring, I, I can technically do it, but sometimes I have to redo it, because sometimes it doesn't work. Right. But, but not all the time. Okay, I appreciate everybody stopping by and checking out her magic kit. If you're in, getting into magic and you're exploring some of these objects for yourself, check out this channel for some nice tutorials, but also check out the magic channel. There's a giveaway going on right now, just like we do, and it closes on Monday. So you want to get on on that. It's the basic the Halloween magic kit that you put together. So you're going to want to check that out. And if I push this button, does it work? It doesn't work. We haven't hot it yet. But that's okay. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. So we're going to go into the end. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. But, of course, this is a magic channel. So we do want to end off with a little bit of magic. This is one of my absolute favorite magic tricks. It is the ring thing. Yes, the ring thing. Alternatively, if we were to do it with the other hand, you'd be able to see the loophole. Yeah, the loophole. Now all we got to do is just shake our hand a little bit. No, not this hand. This hand. Boom, baby. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really does help out the channel. And, of course, click the recommended video just for you. Yes, just for you. And don't forget, stay positive, stay active, and stay awesome. And we'll see you in the next one.